What is happening, everybody? Thank you for clicking into another app of the week. I am David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com. We're going to be looking at a very, very awesome app here. We're all familiar with uh, Paranoid Android's Halo function, where they, they took the chat head feature, the only good thing about Facebook Home, and they implemented them within the notifications. So you get a nice little bubble, and you can respond to emails or messages without even exiting the app you're in. Well, a lot of us that don't have Nexus 4s or whatever builds that have, that have made, um, whatever paranoid builds have made it onto phones, I have a 1S, so of course I'm left out of the blue. But a nice little XDA developer created these floating notifications that you can see. There's my ugly face, and I just got another one. Thank you. Anytime I try to shoot a video that needs notifications, nobody says anything to me. But when I'm shooting a video where I don't need notifications, I get blown up. It just never fails. Murphy's Law. So as you can see here, I sent myself a text message. And then, of course, we got Steve, fellow writer, who just sent me a hangout. See, I actually told him I need notifications. So he sent me one. And what's cool about this is, yeah, it's not like Halo where, where you can just respond within the window, the actual app. You can't really do that, but if you have a ROM, like a Cyanogen Mod ROM that has the... Um, do the quick reply. If you hit that right there, it brings up that quick reply window, so then I could just respond real quick, which is kind of nice. So it's pretty much similar, but it's not quite Halo, but it will satisfy. And there we go, I just gave myself a message. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, if you want to delete, see if you hit it twice, it'll stack, or once, it'll stack up on each other. You hit it once again, it separates. If you want to get rid of one, you just double tap them. Double tap like that. Pretty cool stuff. Let's actually go into the app. Once you uh, get it installed, you'll be able to uh, choose a theme, which on the XDA thread, which I'll have a link down below, it gives you uh, theme options, all free, of course. Um, I just got default light, dark, sticker, holo, and he's really blowing me up now, um, and globe matte, which is cool. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, you could adjust the icon size, which I just left it at the, the defaults, and also the font size. Don't show notification for the current app. You know, if you're in the app, if you're in the text messaging app, why would you need a, a bubble, you know, message? So I, I have that function on. Close stack after pressing action. I don't like. I don't like that. I like to keep them open. I like. I like my bubbles. Then we got animation settings. Dock after a few. Like if you if you weren't working with it, like say there was it was just sitting there. You can have it after a few seconds just go away which I just leave it on, just, just in case I don't get to it. Or you can have a fade, which it'll just look transparent, and then once you click it, it'll, it'll get solid again. And then, of course, you could adjust the transparency levels and all that fun stuff. Then we got lock screen settings, which I have, I believe, both on uh, just one. So on my lock screen, I still get the bubble, and I can still read the message, even though my phone's locked, which is pretty cool. And I don't hide the notification at all. And then we got advanced, be careful, double tap threshold, don't really need to mess with that. And if we go over here, we got your entire app list, which, you know, you could choose whatever apps you want to receive uh, floating notifications. Like, of course, I got my Falcon, my Twitter. So I guess I heard, yeah, if you hold down, it actually shows you stacked messages. Checking this option will stack your messages per app, per app one after the other. For example, message one, two, three. Unchecking will only show... Okay, so if you have this, if you have this uh, unchecked, it'll show all your messages just in one little bubble. But if you want it stacked, you can have multiple bubbles, which is kind of cool. Let's see, what does this one do? This is action. Oh, yeah, this is for, for Gmail and as well as uh, text messaging, you know, when you can reply real quick. Um, if you have this on, if you don't have this on, you won't be able to do a quick reply or anything. Um, even when you get a Gmail, you have the option to just delete, and it'll delete it right out of your notifications, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see, we got app icon. You can either have the app icon, or if you want the actual contacts picture as your uh, floating notification, that's your choice. I actually prefer the picture. Screen on, this uh, causes the screen to turn on uh, when you receive a notification, which I don't mind. And then we got checking this option will float notification always visible. Okay, so this is a persistent, which that's up to you if you want persistent notification. So not bad, not bad at all. I really like this. I mean, I know it's not, it's not Halo necessarily, but it's close enough. I really like it. I would suggest any of you guys using it. It's free right now. Um, they've had four versions. It's on Alpha Four right now. 
Um, so check it out. I have the link down below for the XDA thread. Check it out. Let me know how much you like it. I actually really like it. I've replaced, I used to have Notifier Pro. I don't use that anymore. I use this. I really like it. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like thumbs up button if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I am David, your Android junkie at AndroidSpin.com. This has been App of the Week Floating Notifications. And of course, nobody loves me right now. It'd be awesome if somebody just said something right now or an email got sent, but no, I'm lonely. All right, talk to you guys later.